Welcome back. Thanks everyone for joining me again for another edition of Electric Avenue's YouTube updates. Um, this is uh, February 3rd, 2023, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and run through some of the new releases that I got for the week. Um, vinyl, some CDs. Uh, thanks for joining me again. So, um, not a lot to say this week news wise i do want to pay respects to tom verlaine rest in peace uh leader of the band television uh, fantastic album here Mark marky moon but uh, he did a lot of great work over his life and uh it's another sort of passing before their time i suppose um yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot more of that. I mean, in the world of acting, we had Cindy Williams this week. Uh, so R.I.P. Shirley. I mean, uh, grew up watching that show. And uh, she was always the, like, really sweet one, you know. Um, Laverne was the more, like, comic relief type. But they both were very funny. So anyway, um, at 75 also, very uh, sad, uh, tragic. Anyway, all right, let's get to the music. Um so much sadness in the world. Uh, so I didn't uh, get to show this last week because it showed up a little late, but uh, this is the Green Day Nimrod vinyl box set. I showed the CD last time. And uh, three records, well, I think maybe four actually. Oh, five, sorry. Five records because it's uh, side 10. Um, so the first uh, side and a half are the album. So it's a little spread out. And then um, there's a, I suppose, a etching or whatever on side four. Then side five and six uh, are um, demos. And then the third disc is live stuff. And the cool thing, if you're from this area where this video is being um, filmed, this was recorded live at the Electric Factory, Philadelphia, November 14th, 1997. Um, so it's a fairly small venue for a band the size of Green Day. Um, anyway, I think that that's sort of a cool kind of keepsake if you went to that show. Um, and it's available on CD as well. But uh, anyway, check that out. Um, another thing I showed last time were these two um, New Order singles. Uh, we had Shell Shock and Subculture that showed up last week um they're doing the low life era um new order stuff and then this week we get uh perfect kiss um which has always been sort of a nondescript cover but you can see possibly uh if i get it in the light here there's an embossing of the word perfect down the side this um i don't know i don't want to say it was a letdown because i feel like i mean i love this song and I love this version of it. It's like the long version that you kind of see in the music video. Um, but they were talking about this being like, oh, we're finally getting the mirror cover out again. And I don't know if that was like a limited edition or what, but this is more like the actual original pressing of this record. And um, yeah, I mean, these are seminal sort of recordings. And if you were watching the news at all this week, uh, you saw that the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, announcements for the uh, nominations for this year were announced. And um, New Order slash Joy Division was one of the uh, announcements. And here is the New Order Low Life box set that came out. Um, it's rather large. Uh, the thing about this that I think... Um, you know, again, we're talking split formatting. So you get the vinyl record of Low Life, and then you get, uh, looks like three CDs, four CDs here, or two CDs and two Blu-rays, sorry, or two CDs and two DVDs. Um, and there's a 48-page hardbound book in here. Um, it's cool because it's got a lot of the rough mixes or early mixes of the songs that made it to this album. There's not really songs so much that uh, they had that didn't make it to the album eventually. And then there's some cool live footage that I think is really um, gonna be sought after. But, you know, for 150 bucks, I mean, if you, you probably would want more vinyl, but I think it's still beautifully packaged and 
Peter Saville. I, I, I'm, I don't know if he still did this, but I'm assuming. Um, if not, you know, my bad. But um, I, I like the minimal cover of this. Um, but the album itself, it's gotten to the point now because these are being made as imports on vinyl and not really not being pressed in the U.S. So you're talking about fifty dollars for a one LP, anyway. So a hundred and fifty for a a big box set like that. Um, so yeah, New Order and uh, Joy Division. Um, selected in the list i hope they make it this time i think they will actually because now that the cure and depeche mode have made it it seems like the door has opened a little bit for more of the alternative type acts and joy division had such an impact early on i think for um that kind of post-punk or sort of um whatever i guess you would call alternative music at the time and then um, with the death of the lead singer Ian uh, moving on to New Order would prove kind of a challenge and they did really rise above it and completely overhauled their sound became more of a synth uh, rock band um, and what was cool about them or still is is that uh, well, I haven't had an album in eight years now but um, some songs are more uh, synthy some are more rocky uh, and then some merge the two. So it's um, it's unique the way they sort of approach things. But I think the thing that's probably really um, great about New Order Joy Division is, again, it sort of showed that you could just be an every person, kind of like walk in off the street, meet a group of friends, start a band, and, you know, nobody had to have, like, super marquee looks there wasn't technically a front person other than ian at first um and uh eventually sort of bernard and peter sort of split that role but uh is an interesting kind of democratic way of <laughs> of doing a band and continuing forward and making great music so um maybe they'll get a new record out since they are nominated on this list i'm looking down the list of other nominees i mean i think it's great to see um, you know, Iron Maiden get on this list. I mean, they should have been in there a long time ago. Um, Willie Nelson, I feel like he was nominated because now, you know, Dolly Parton has kind of pushed that door a little bit. Um, in the hip hop area, we get Missy Elliott and Tribe Called Quest, which are both great. Uh, Missy Elliott, I mean, we don't have a lot of, um, black artists on this list again and not female black so i think she might have a good shot i don't know uh kate bush obviously from the big hit last year cindy lopper has been probably long overdue george michael um one of the greatest uh, pop singers ever um but you know will he get in this time i don't know Soundgarden and rage against the machine they may kind of split votes depending on which sort of rock way. And then you've got White Stripes in there, which sort of even more sort of splits that. But those are all rock bands, right? Technically rock bands. Um, the Spinners, um, you know, great band, a great uh, soul group. And, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know where they're going to fall. Uh, Warren Zevon, I would love to see it. I don't know if it's going to happen this time. And uh, Cheryl Crow. Um, so... You know, there's really not, I, I, th I feel like this list in particular, there's really not too many that you could say like, oh, they don't belong. You know, I think they all sort of belong. And uh, the last couple of years uh, have been, uh, this year, I think 2022 was a really great class of inductees. So um, maybe they're sort of like kind of paying attention to a lot of what fans are saying more too. Um, but yeah, there's still people like, Procol Harum that should be in there, you know, I mean, uh, going way back. Um, and it kind of like enough time starts passing and you think, are they going to ever really remember certain people? So anyway, check out the list. Um, okay, on to records. <laughs> new release. Uh, well, this is not really a new release. It came out almost a year ago on CD, but Weezer uh, Seasons, this is the spring one. Um, that's finally coming out. Uh, this is on glow in the dark final. Uh, so if you were into that set of EPs, that would be something to check out. 
Uh, Sampa the Great. This actually came out a week or two ago, and I think we're getting it late, but uh, she's very interesting, um, you know, mixes in a lot of different sort of uh, Afrocentric type uh, music and whatever, so uh, check her out. Uh, another really interesting uh, African-American artist, I believe she's African-American, uh, Sunny War. This is Anarchist Gospel, and uh, she was on CBS Saturday last week, and um, she kind of like was uh, talking about Tracy Chapman and the influence of her. So um, it's sort of like a folk rock from a more Afrocentric sort of perspective. You might want to check it out. Uh, she seems really interesting. H.C. Uh, McIntyre. Uh, this also came out, I think, a week or two ago, and we're finally getting this. Uh, this is sort of like um, uh, folk, yeah, very folk, quiet, um, sort of reminds me of like uh, Adrian Lenker and sort of her quieter moments from Big Thief. Uh, so you might want to check that out. Uh, okay. Um, interesting compilation, uh, Spotify, which I don't usually promote, but the Magnolia Record Club, this is volume two of the singles. The reason that I'm showing this is it has a very interesting track list. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there, but uh, you can look it up online probably, but it starts with John Prine featuring the Secret Sisters doing Stevie Wonder's I Just Called to Say I Love You. Um, these seem to be mostly cover songs. Zach Brown Band doing uh, Cover Me Up, which is Jason Isbell. Um, we got... Uh, a couple of interesting ones here. The last one is A Change Is Gonna Come from 2014 at South by Southwest with St. Paul and the Broken Bones featuring Lizzo. So that's Lizzo doing a vocal thing with St. Paul uh, nearly 10 years ago. Uh, also Dreams, the Cranberry song done by Japanese Breakfast. So there's uh, a few interesting things there. Uh, jazz this week. Um, not a whole lot, but uh, we get a, our first and only tone poet for February, which is uh, Donald Byrd live at the Half Note Cafe. Uh, this is with Pepper Adams, Duke Pearson, Layman Jackson, and Lex Humphreys. And uh, again, it's part of the Tone Poet series from the original analog tapes, um, mastered by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio. Very nice presentation for another blue note record and then um on the other side of that we get uh oscar peterson night train and this is verve's acoustic sound series uh so also very highly praised mastered uh from the original analog tapes uh manufactured at quality record pressings qrp uh this is probably going to sound fantastic because uh, Verve Acoustic Sounds, uh, Acoustic Sounds Analog Productions has been doing amazing work with these this series as well. Um, they do lots of amazing work out there in Kansas. Uh, <laughs> all right, go Chiefs. Um, no wait, I'm an Eagles fan. I don't know. I'm torn. I got family in Kansas City, and you know. Uh, anyway, you don't want to be in my position. Um, Ray Charles, Ray sings. Basie Swings. Uh, this was sort of a late entry from last week. I don't know if I showed it. Um, but it's kind of interesting because it's Ray Charles with the Count Basie Orchestra. This was genius number two in um, what he was sort of starting a series. But the songs he does here, um, you know, things like it starts with Oh, What a Beautiful Morning uh, and How Long Has This Been Going On? Let the Good Times Roll. And towards the end, he does The Long and Winding Road, Look What They've Done to My Song, and Georgia on My Mind. So if you're a Ray Charles fan, you might want to grab that because I don't know how long that's going to be around. Speaking of Ray Charles, it is uh, Black History Month. It's usually February. Um, so they, uh, Rhino, I don't know if it's Rhino or this is more Atlantic Records, but it's got the same sort of like stickering that all of those rhinos start your ear off right did but ray charles and this is uh just the ray charles rock and roll album atlantic 8006 
uh, Genius 1957 debut album featuring I Got a Woman, uh, Mess Around, and Hallelujah, I Love Her So. Uh, it's the mono edition, and it's pressed on crystal clear vinyl, limited. Um, some of these have already gone back to reorder, and it looks like they're already either out or experiencing some sort of product shortages. Uh, Otis Redding's Otis Blue. Uh, Otis Redding sings Soul. This one has Respect, Change Gonna Come, uh, and uh, You Don't Miss Your Water, Satisfaction, um, the cover of the uh, Stones track. Uh, this is also on Crystal Clear Vinyl. It says says uh, Limited 1965 uh, Soul Standard. Uh, okay, another one. Uh, you got Wilson Pickett's The Exciting Wilson Pickett. And this is the 1966 crossover hit featuring In the Midnight Hour and Land of a Thousand Dances, uh, 6345789. Uh, so, yeah, exciting Wilson Pickett. Uh, that's also mono. Arthur Conley's Sweet Soul Music. Uh, this is Crystal Clear Vinyl 1967 Soul Salute. I can't stop and take me just as I am. Another sort of rhino offering. And uh, I think, is that all of them? Why is it that I feel like there was one more? Oh, well, if I find it, I find it. <laughs> okay. I thought I had all of them right here, but uh, I think I might have, yeah, something got moved. That might be it, but I think there were four. Um, on to something else, Lumineers. Uh, the 10 year anniversary of their f debut album. Uh, this is uh, all songs remastered, including six songs on vinyl for the first time. Album download inside, pressed on black vinyl. Um, yeah. You can see it's like a double record there. That's a pretty popular record. I would say only for them, only bested by maybe the second album, which uh, seemed to be. Was that Cleopatra? That sold quite a bit. Oh, no, that might be... Yeah, that was the second album. Um, <laughs> like, you can tell I'm having trouble getting my facts straight today. Luna, Luna Park. Uh, well, this is a cool reissue on Run Out Groove. Did not get a lot of these. It has the actual album and then a bunch of demos on the second record. So these are going to be sought after, limited and, num limited and numbered. Um, it does have a number pressed into it, or... To the cover anyway luna park um and then last things i have here like i said not a huge amount today but uh, ozzy osbourne patient number nine this album has already come out uh, ozzy announced his imminent retirement from touring this week he just can't do it anymore um but this is a alternate cover cover artwork from todd mcfarlane and it's basically the same album also on black vinyl, just has a different cover. You can call it a cash grab if you want to call it that. Um, and then there were some music on vinyl things that I don't know if I showed or they kind of showed up sort of random, but Angel Witch, um, this is their uh, classic album limited to a thousand individually numbered on Black Clouds color vinyl. Um, I think this album is really hard to find a good copy of it that's not beat up from how old it is and how much it probably got played. Another sort of, I don't know if you call it metal, but rock classic from Blue Oyster Cult, uh, Tyranny and Mutation, 50th anniversary edition of 2,000 individually numbered copies on translucent blue colored vinyl. Love that cover art. I thought it always was so great. And this is when, you know, you look at it and you go, this is why people like vinyl and they like albums because, you know, of the cover. And then uh, finally, Donna Summer, Crayons, album from 2006, I believe, and it featured Stamp Your Feet. And this was uh, basically her last big studio record that got promoted, uh, came out on Sony. Um, it has a lot of good stuff. It's got some kind of beachy stuff too, but 
Uh, she like, I don't know, it, it wasn't really like necessarily dance in the way that people were used to her. Uh, it wasn't disco, but you know, she changed a lot her sound quite a bit ever since like The Wanderer in like 80, 81. So uh, this features Ziggy Marley on the title track. It's limited edition of 2000 copies on translucent pink colored vinyl. And finally, a couple of CDs, which uh, we haven't gotten the vinyl yet. I don't know where it is. Shania Twain's Queen of Me is coming out on CD this week. Weird Al Yankovic story. Weird starring Daniel Radcliffe. This is like a Weird Al Greatest Hits album, though. It has a lot of songs from him. And then soundtrack music. Uh, Young Fathers, their new album, Heavy Heavy. Should be getting that on vinyl really shortly. Uh, they were Mercury Prize nominees or winners i believe and joe chambers dance cobina which is a interesting looking jazz record um have not heard it yet comes out on blue note um hopefully the vinyl will arrive soon so thank you all for joining me it's a little bit shorter video today because uh, a little bit smaller week uh valentine's day is next week so i expect that we'll start seeing more and definitely by the end of february uh, that last week when gorillas show up and uh, there's going to be a lot more stuff. So keep watching. Thank you very much. Go check out the Hall of Fame nominees and see you. Have a great weekend. Thanks. Peace.